Milwaukee has chosen a new governor, Republican Matt Bevin, be Democrat Attorney General, Attorney General that is, Jack Conway. It was a tight race for so many months. It had both sides sweating at different points in the campaign season. It is one of the big headlines of the off year election. And once again, we have live team coverage of this issue and all the issues tonight. That's right, Evan Millward in Louisville following Matt Bevin's campaign. Evan. Well, Tanya, the now governor elect Matt Bevin just left with his family as his party here starts to slow down. But before he did, he told me his top priorities are all financial. He's inherited a pension crisis in the Commonwealth and he's got to work on getting a balanced state budget together. He said those two things go hand in hand. It's something he mentioned multiple times in his victory speech. To quote, he said, there is much work to be done. And there was much work to be done on his end to get to where he is tonight, standing at the podium taking a call from Attorney General Jack Conway, the, the concession phone call there. He spent most of his uh, campaign trailing in the polls here, but in turn ended up winning by uh, about seven points. And that's why a lot of people here tonight say that he enters the governor's mansion with a mandate for change. He touched on that as well in his victory speech, again echoing a line he used several times throughout his campaign. Take a listen. We talked several times in our most recent ads about the fact that we as a state, we as a party, we as a people, and frankly, we as a nation in some measure, but specific to this moment in time in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, we need a fresh start. So I had a chance to uh, throw a couple of questions the now governor elects way after his victory speech. I asked him what the number one thing on his to-do list when he wakes up tomorrow morning is. He told me it is going to be putting a team together. He's got just five weeks to get that done. But tonight, Nine on Your Side also wanted to know what does this all mean for Northern Kentucky? They sure helped his uh, slide to victory tonight. He was in some cases getting double the votes of Jack Conway in counties in northern Kentucky in our viewing area. Coming up over on 9 on your side at 11, we're talking to the state senate majority leader. He's from our area. He wields some power and he's got some surprising things to say about what this all means getting for the first time or the second time rather in about 40 years another Republican in the governor's mansion. That's coming up at 11 over on 9 on your side. Craig Definitely a historic night in Kentucky for sure, Evan. Thank you. And let's turn now to our John Genovese. He's live from Frankfurt with what Attorney General Jack Conway said in his concession speech. John? Well, this was not the result people here were hoping for tonight. As the numbers were coming in, you could almost feel the disappointment among this crowd of several thousand people. And then as this race was called just after 8 o'clock, a sigh from a lot of folks here. Now, during that concession speech, Jack Conway at times appeared emotional. He was surrounded by family and his running mate, Sandy Overly. He said, first and foremost, this is not the result they had hoped for, but it is a result they will respect. He says he called Matt Bevin around 8.30 tonight, congratulating him and offering any assistance he could provide. Since 2008, Conway, of course, has served as state attorney general. He thanked the people of Kentucky for allowing him that opportunity and a hard-fought campaign. In all 120 Kentucky counties, through countless hours on the road, you've opened your homes, you've opened your hearts, you've made me a better person in so many ways. So while this is bitter tonight, I understand that life is very sweet, and I'm looking out at a crowd of a lot of great friends. Plenty of applause after that speech was over with. The crowd here has largely cleared out. And what a difference just a few hours can make, guys. All right, John, thanks so much. And this race drawing national attention as well. The Chicago Tribune reports the Kentucky gubernatorial race is important because political power will now be divided in the Commonwealth. Democrats control statewide offices to the state house. Republicans dominate the state Senate and congressional delegation. So what does all of this mean? Okay, I 